How do we deal with drug addiction in the elderly? This is a delicate situation uh, for a number of reasons. Number one is the stresses of uh, dealing with an addiction, uh, particularly ones that are heavy duty like an opioid addiction or alcoholism, the withdrawal or detox process can be very hard on, on, it's hard on anybody, but somebody who's elderly, this extra stress in their life can lead to serious complications. So in this unique situation, it's important to be involved very closely with your health care provider, with your physician. Um, a lot of a lot of people who are elderly do uh, wean down and get off of uh, long-term drugs um, and alcohol, but in this unique situation, most of the time it's done in the hospital. Uh, this is because they can be closely monitored uh, for any cardiovascular problems, um, any major changes in blood pressure, uh, potential for stroke, um, heart attack, many things can happen. And so in this situation, not, this is not to scare people into not getting help for their elderly uh, loved one, but it's just that it's a higher risk situation and that they need to be in a higher level of care. Um, the treatment itself is the same though and that involves communication with them, discussing it with them openly. Um, most people who are elderly have been around for quite a while and can handle a lot more stresses in a conversation than you might think. Um, they are used to coping with life stresses for a lot longer than we have and you'd be surprised how much information that they can provide you with. Uh, opening up communication involves asking them what their thoughts are. Do they think that they are addicted? Uh, do they want to get help for themselves? Have they tried in the past? Uh, there's nothing wrong with bringing up this conversation. Sometimes it might be easier though with a healthcare provider present and ask, have them ask the questions if it's too difficult. Um, that being said, the actual treatment, like I said, is the same as any other treatment. So after we've discussed what it is that they want, then to figure out a plan. Uh, is total abstinence wanted or reasonable in the situation? Uh, if they're on chronic pain medications, then total abstinence may not be a good idea, but a wean would be better. Uh, if it's alcohol and they want to get off it completely, then it's super important in this situation to definitely seek medical attention uh, to, because they need to be put on bridging medications like Valium or other type medications to help prevent uh, serious complications of alcohol withdrawal. Once a person is through the early, de early uh, detox or early rehab process, <clears throat> this needs to be followed up with changes in lifestyle. And being elderly does not preclude somebody from getting help for themselves. Uh, and plenty of rehabs have plenty of old people uh, in them and they are capable of learning just like anybody else. Again, you might be surprised. So I think that would help summarize it there that uh, it's more care and caution needs to be employed with the elderly when it comes to treating addiction issues. Uh, they are tougher than you might think. It's helpful to have a healthcare professional there involved and perhaps they could do the questioning to find out what this person would like. Um, and then if it's better to have a total abstinence model versus uh, harm reduction, which involves weaning down the dose of whether it's alcohol or drugs. And then finally, uh, instituting the uh, long-term treatment, which is uh, things that are learned in rehabs, whether it's inpatient or outpatient, but learning the lifestyle modification and the tools of the trade that can be learned in a rehab. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave it in the comment box below.